Yo, 2008 Infinity G35X. The victim is claiming that the transmission pan is rusted through and leaking. I already replaced the oil pan on this once because he actually put a jack on it in the wrong spot and it put a hole in it because it was all rusted. So um, I don't know if he's right or not. Let's see if he's right. I'm just going to poke this with a pick and um, try to find the hole. Oh, it looks like it's over here somewhere. Where's the hole? Gee, I never had such a hard time finding a hole. Oh, oh, I found a hole. Okay, he wasn't wrong. The victim asked me what he should do because he had a transmission leak. I said, order some parts and I'll put them in. I figured he'd mail order stuff, but he actually went to the dealer and he got a pan and he got a gasket and he got six quarts of Nissan transmission fluid and he got the um, the whole projection deal and uh, they told him, oh yeah, they always replace the bolts, so he got the bolts too. At this point, I don't really think I need to take the drain plug out because um, I've made a pretty good hole as it is, but I suppose a uh, 19 millimeter and uh, wow, that's a rusty, rusty bolt. It's supposed to be a 19 millimeter. Now it's about, um, I don't know, I don't know, what, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'll just let it drip until it's done dripping. Well, the thing's pretty much all done dribbling. I guess I can kind of see why the dealer says we replaced the bolts too, because they're kind of rusted out. They're all 10 millimeters. This is all pretty self-explanatory after this. I just need to take all these bolts off. There's a couple of hangers on here with the oxygen sensor wires on them. There's a bracket here for the catalytic converters and the bolts are so rusted out they're not even going to come out unless I torch them and have a lot of problems and um, there's a there's a bracket here that's got the oxygen sensor plugs on it and there's a couple of bolts that are kind of kind of in the way here and instead of taking all this off with the 14 millimeter bolts I'm just going to try to get a pry bar in here and just bend these brackets a little bit and then I'll be able to get these bolts and I'll bend them back after I'm done I got one bolt here that's rusted out so bad that a 10 millimeters just not going on it so I have a standard 3 ace which is just a hair smaller than a 10 millimeter I can just pound that socket on there and hopefully I can get this one off. Oh yeah. I have them all loose and now I'm just going to take them off the rest of the way with a drill. That one there must have been a through bolt. It almost it felt like it was going to break didn't want to come out. A little galled up. I have a gasket here I get to deal with. Hopefully it'll come off nice and easy. That looks clean enough. I got one of these new bolts in this hole that galled up really bad. It, the bolt doesn't really start in it. Works fine in all the others. So I got a six by millimeter one thread chaser. You could use a tap for this too if you really have the same problem. I'm just gonna try to chase this thread 
Hopefully I won't have to helicoil the thing. It's pretty boogered up. It doesn't feel right at all. Getting a lot of metal coming out of it. It's probably screwed, I don't know. Yeah, it does go all the way through. I still see some threads in there. Seems to be okay enough, but I'm going to use a longer bolt than what they gave me to make sure it goes all the way through to the top. So I'm utilizing all of the threads that haven't been used yet. I just have some random junk from my random junk pile. Yeah, it goes all the way through. I'm going to use that one, make sure it goes in that hole. Now I have some nifty little magnets I got to deal with. Just going to try to clean all the goo that's stuck on them. Little metal shavings and stuff. Then the gasket. Now I'm just going to put a couple bolts in the pan to keep the gasket lined up and start these two bolts. I have them all started now. I'm just going to turn my setting down on my drill a lot so it's not too tight. And I'm just going to start in the center and work my way out. Bolts like this should get torqued to about 65 inch pounds or 6 foot pounds. Put these wires back on. Bend these brackets back a little bit. Since it is stock, this should be torqued, but I'm going to check it anyways. Yeah, that's tight. Now I have to get the dipstick out of this thing. It's right there. Got a 10 millimeter bolt on it holding it down. I just have a long extension and a 10 millimeter. Take the, take the dipstick out. I don't know how much leaked out of this thing, but I measured it. So I got a gallon there, probably about another quarter of a quart. So maybe a half quart. So I'm gonna put four and a half quarts in it and then I'm gonna run it and check it. I have a long funnel I can use for this. Okay, I put four and a half quarts of fluid in it. Now I gotta run this up to about 160 degrees or hotter because this transmission fluid expands. And then I just need to make sure that it's in them cross hatches. Okay, this thing's hot. The cooling fans are running. It's on level ground. I let it run for probably about 20 minutes. The level's right at the top of the cross hatches, and I'm about I'm about four ounces shy of five quarts on this thing, and it's all good. So I'm just going to put that bolt back in, torque it down to six foot pounds if I really want to, just like the pan, and call it a job. Okay, bye.